Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will focus on Uniswap, one of the most talked about decentralized exchanges. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting contents on cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Now let's get started. First of all, what is Uniswap? Uniswap is a decentralized exchange protocol built on the Ethereum's blockchain. It is owned and operated by a single entity. Uniswap allows users to trade cryptocurrency directly without going through middlemen. You may ask, how does this work? The answer is an automated market maker. Uniswaps operate on the EMM model, allowing users to trade cryptocurrency directly from their wallets without the need for traditional order books or any middlemen. For example, Bob can swap doggy coins into USDT through any DEX. The price are set by EMM, no need to use the order book for matchmaking. Well, if you are a beginner, you may ask why we use Uniswap. It is better than the traditional exchange. Well, let's take a look at the difference between DEX and the CEX. First of all, decentralization. Unlike centralized entities that operate CEX, the Uniswap protocols operates on a decentralized network with no single entities controlling the exchange. Second, transparency. DEX are more transparent than other exchanges. Not only is all the code open source, but the Uniswap protocol operates on public blockchains where all transaction and smart contracts interactions are recorded on the transparent ledger. Third, liquidity. DEX can offer improved liquidity by allowing anyone to create and provide liquidity to a pool, making swap cheaper. Last least, accessibility. Anyone can trade any tokens or create a market for any token. In this way, DEX are more accessible to a wider range of users. Those reasons make Uniswap better than traditional exchanges. Let's take a deeper dive at Uniswap. How can Uniswap determine the price without the order book and the market maker? The answer is AMM and the liquidity pool. Let me introduce AMM first. The AMM is a smart contract-based protocol designed to facilitate the exchange of assets without the need for order books. In DAX based on AMM model, liquidity is provided by users who contribute to liquidity pools. Those pools leverage a mathematical algorithm to automatically adjust assets price based on the radio of assets in the pool ensures constant liquidity and allows users to trade directly from their wallet. However, in CEX with the order book system, where buyer and sellers place limited and market orders on a centralized platform, the order books display these orders, and the transactions occurs when a buyer's limited order matches a seller's limited order. This method relies on a central platform such as Coinbase, Binance, and OKS to match trades. Then, what are liquidity pools and how do liquidity pools leverage mass for individual traders to buy and sell crypto assets? A liquidity pool is a smart contract-based pool of funds provided by users, which facilitates the trading of assets with the need for a traditional order book. Users deposit pair of tokens into a smart contract, printing a pool of liquidities. Now, let's look at the constant product formula. The constant product formula remains a balance between the two tokens in a liquidity pool. The products of the quantities of two tokens remains constant. The formula is represented as x times y equals k. Y is the quantity of token A in the pool. X is the quantity of token B in the pool. K is the constant. When a user makes a trade by adding token A and withdrawing token B, 
The total amount of both tokens remains the constant k. Let me give you an example. Bob posts 10 ETH and 1,000 USDT in the liquidity pool. He is the liquidity provider. The function x times y equals k is 10 times 1,000 equals 10,000. Now, Alice, the trader, she wants to swap 1 ETH from the liquidity pool with USDT. Let's see what will happen with the AMM model and how to determine the price of the tokens. After Alice exchanges the ETH, the quantities of the pool will reach a new balance. The price of ETH is about 111 USDT. However, is there any risk? I will explain the coin of Uniswap, Impermanent Loss. Impermanent Loss is a concept associated with liquidity provisions in automated market makers like Uniswap. Impermanent Loss happens when you provide liquidity to a liquidity pool, and the price of your deposit assets change compared to when you deposit them into your wallet. The bigger the changes, the more you are exposed to impermanent loss. So, why do liquidity providers still provide liquidity if they are exposed to potential losses? First, this loss is not permanent in the sense that it depends on the relative price movement of the tokens in the liquidity pool. Second, Uniswap charges 0.3% on every trade that directly goes to liquidity providers. The trade fee in Uniswaps can have some permanent loss. Let's look at an example of the impermanent loss. Bob deposits 5 ETH and 5,000 USDT in a liquidity pool. In this particular AMM, the deposited token peers need to be equivalent. This means that the price of ETH is 1,000 USDT at the time of deposit. In addition, there is a total of 50 ETH and 50,000 USDT in the pool, funded by other liquidity providers just like Bob. So, Bob has a 10% share of the pool. But what if the price of one of these assets change? Let's say that the price of ETH increases to 2,000 USDT. Arbitrage traders will add USDT to the pool and remove ETH until the ratio reflects the current price. They will earn 1,000 USDT per ETH. Liquidity pools rely on math formulas to manage the dealing. In this scenario, using x times y equals k is populated by Uniswap. We determine 50 ETH times 50,000 USDT equals 2.5 minutes, where k is 2.5 minutes. After the arbitrage tradings, we now calculate on the new holdings of the pool. The price of ETH is 2,000 USDT now. Let's suppose that X is the quantity of ETH, and Y is the quantities of USDT. The total value of ETH equals to USDT. We will have a system of linear equations of two unknowns, that is, 2,000 times X equals Y. X times Y equals 2.5 million. We will get x is about 35 and y is about 70,000. That means that there are about 35 ETH and about 70,000 USDT in the pool. Now, the price of ETH is double. Let's calculate the impermanent loss of fall. After arbitrage trading, finally, there are about 35 ETH and the 70,000 USDT in the pool. If Bob withdraws all the tokens, 10% shares of the pool, he will have about 3.5 ETH and about 7,000 USDT, which values about 14,000 USDT. Let's see what will happen if he put his money in his wallet. 
as the price of ETH reaches the 2,000 UICT, swapped assets are 5 ETH and 5,000 UICT. That's worth the 15,000 UICT. In this scenario, the impermanent loss is about 800 USDT. Bob would have been better off by holding rather than depositing into the liquidity pool. Uniswap has introduced us a new way of trading digital assets. If you found this video valuable, please like and share. Thanks for your support. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.